Good morning, welcome back to Fly Tying Up Close. Today we're going to talk about palmering a feather either for a rib like on a woolly booger or a woolly worm or uh, a intruder fly like the body of this intruder fly which uh, we've prepped with eyes and tail already. The palmering technique is named after the palmer worm, which is a very hairy caterpillar. You can look that up and take a look. You'll see what I'm talking about. The feather has a top and a bottom. You should take the concave side, face it to you. If you want a wet fly, you need to remove the right side of the feather. If you're going to tie a dry fly, remove the left side of the feather. We're tying a wet fly and this is what it should look like after the barbs have been removed. Then this is a very handy technique for adding feathers to the hook. It can be used on dozens of different applications. Take the tip of the feather, come under the hook, come back around under the thread like that. Position the feather where you want it. A couple of, of wraps like that. Clip it off like that. Move the thread to the end of the palmer. In another video we're going to talk about back wrapping this because palmer feathers are really not very strong when they're strung out like this the teeth of the fish can can rip and break so your fly is done when you get to the front make one complete wrap at the ending point secure it with your thread clip it off pull everything back a couple more wraps and you have a palmered hook. See you next time. Take care.